Uh, and speaking of the human scale, I was reading about uh, the fact that you talked about us being sort of analog beings, but a lot of science has been finding out about like bees having uh, quantum properties and how they relate to the world. And I just wanted to see if you could comment on that aspect of life and that fact that perhaps our consciousness is a quantum uh, item or uh, is a quantum entity. And, you know, just before you respond to that, sure. um, we are going to, have to cut the questions off there because people are leaving already. If you have questions for you afterwards, you can certainly come up and ask about that. Um, yeah, I mean, the world works in quantum ways, we know that. And so, and this. We know that is true on the very small scale, on the scale of an atom. An atom would make no sense without quantum uh, physics. What holds an atom together as an atom is quantum physics. Um, and so uh, life is built out of atoms and molecules. We know they all operate in quantum ways. And, and through quantum effects, that's how proteins know how to fold in the shapes they fold in. So quantum mechanics helps in the translation of the DNA code into uh, the living, uh, you know, organism. Now, some people have kind of tried to make the leap up to consciousness and to say, well, maybe quantum mechanics can explain consciousness. And the problem is that our ability to understand complicated quantum systems with many particles, many atoms, many molecules, our ability is very limited. And the reason is because we don't have a quantum computer. You have to have it, that's what a quantum computer is. It's a collection of quantum systems operating together as a big object. Um, and we can only really speculate about what its properties are. And so I think to deal with something as complex as a brain, we, would, we, need, to, we need to be able to comprehend how what we say, what we call many-body quantum systems operate. And uh, we're beginning to do that. But nothing would help but like actually having a quantum computer. Uh, then, then I think we would begin to be able to ask these questions. But it's certainly very intriguing. And there are many lines of argument that, you know, very serious scientists are now beginning to write papers about free will and quantum mechanics. There's the age-old puzzle of free will. Where does free will come from? We know that in a classical world, as con conceived by Newton or Maxwell, there is no free will. The world is a machine. It operates according to prescribed laws. Where does free will come from? So it turns out quantum mechanics does allow a form of free will which is compatible with the laws of physics. And, um, and that's a very interesting distinction from classical physics. Is it the explanation for free will? I don't know. But it's, it may be part of the story. 